Hello friends, my name is Ronit Gaikwad and today I am going to teach you the basic working the merge sort algorithm. So now, as you can see in the video, merge sort is basically a sorting algorithm that uses the divide, conquer and combine algorithmic strategy. Now divide means partitioning the n element array to be sorted into two subarrays of n by 2 elements. That is, for example, if we have an array of 8 elements, we will divide that array into subarrays of 4 elements each. Conquer means sorting the two subarrays recursively using the merge sort algorithm. And combine means merging the two sorted subarrays of size n by 2 to produce the sorted array and element. Now these are the basic steps of how to perform a merge sort algorithm. So remember if the array is of length 0 or 1 then it is already sorted. An array of length 0 is an exclusive case and should always be treated as a sorted array. Otherwise divide the unsorted array into two subarrays of about half the size. Use merge sort algorithm recursively to sort each subarray and then finally merge the two subarrays to form a single sorted array. The example which begins next will help you understand the merge sort algorithm in a better fashion. So consider an array of 8 numbers given in any random fashion. This is the initial array position and we will start a process of actual sorting using the merge sort algorithm on this array. Now the first step as stated earlier is to divide the array of n elements to get an array of n by 2 elements. So we will divide this given array into two subarrays of four elements each. So here it is we have divided this array to get two subarrays of four elements each. Now this process should be continued until you do not get n subarrays each having only single element. So again these two subarrays of four elements each will be divided into sub uh, four subarrays having two elements each. So here it is, we have divided them and have gotten four arrays of two elements each. So again we will divide these four subarrays to get n arrays of only single element. So here it is, we get eight subarrays having only one single element in each of them. So now, as you might have seen that the entire array is now divided into subarrays, each having a single element. This is the terminating condition. We have completed the divide phase of the algorithm. Now we have to begin with the conquer, that is sorting and the combining phase. Basically, in the conquer phase, we sort the arrays recursively as stated earlier. And in the combine phase, we merge the two sorted arrays to form one single array. So this is the initial condition to start the Merging process, we have 8 subarrays, each having a single element. So these 8 subarrays will be co uh, combined together to get 4 arrays. So here it is, we get 4 arrays. And as you can see in the video, basically all the 4 arrays are in the sorted condition. If you see the second array, you can see that the position of 86 and 1 have been swapped so that uh, the second array also is in the sorted position. Now the same process should be continued until we do not get the original array that is the size of the original array. So here it is we have again combined the four subarrays to get two subarrays. The two subarrays are also in the sorted position as you can see the position of the elements have been interchanged so that both these subarrays are in the sorted position. Now finally we merge the two remaining two subarrays to get the final sorted array and this is the array that we had earlier that is an array of eight elements so this is the way merge sort algorithm is performed there are a few important points to remember the first important point is the original array of n elements needs to be divided continuously to get subarrays each having n by two elements the divide phase should continue as long as we do not get n subarrays each having only a single element. The zero, uh, the array with the zero elements is an exception case as stated earlier. In the merge phase, we first need to sort each individual array and then merge those arrays to form one large array. When you have merged all the subarrays, you should get an array equal to the size of the original array and completely sorted. So this is the conclusion. The advantage of merge sort is that it is relatively fast even for large data sets even in the worst case. However, the disadvantages of merge sort include 
the extra memory space needed to store the extra arrays that are generated while dividing thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe if you have enjoyed watching thank you